Embracing the excluded is essential to the wealth of the nation. If we do not embrace them, we will all suffer. It's very simple. In a democracy, the poor have a veto. And we have to carry the poor and the weak with us. India will only move forward with inclusive growth that embraces everyone and is open and attainable to those inside this room and those very, very far outside. Now, there is a strong connection between harmony and growth. I spoke about this energy, this movement, and there are two ways this movement can go. It can go harmoniously or it can go disruptively. And the idea of the Congress party is that it should go harmoniously. Everybody should move together happily. There's a strong connection between harmony and growth. India has grown faster under the UPA because we have greatly lowered tensions between communities, made growth more inclusive, and fostered an environment of tolerance and harmony. Anger, hatred, and prejudice do not contribute to growth. Do not underestimate the benefits of harmony. When you play the politics of alienating communities, you stop the flow of movement of people of ideas, people and ideas. And when that happens, we all suffer. Businesses suffer, the seeds of disharmony are sown, and the dreams of our people are severely disrupted. Once begun, this damage takes a very long time to reverse. It is very dangerous to leave people behind. Inclusive growth is a win-win for everybody. We in the Congress party have been systematically working on creating modern political infrastructure that provides people with voice. By lifting people out of poverty, using our rights approach, we are smoothening out a lot of these flows. 